All right, so lesson 90 is on measuring turns. So here we have Lila was traveling north. At the light, she turned 90 degrees to the left and traveled one block to the next intersection. At the intersection, she turned 90 degrees to the left. What direction was Lila then traveling? Well, it helps in this case to draw a little compass. So we have north, south, east, and west. Okay, And then to draw a picture. So Lila was first tra was traveling north. At the light, she turned 90 degrees to the left. So we know 90 degrees, we have to, to the left, would be like that. Okay, 90 degrees here. And then at the next light, she turned another 90 degrees. Okay, so which way she's going? Well, she's headed down, so that means she's going south. So here we have Andy and Barney were both facing east. Andy made a quarter turn 90 degrees clockwise to face east, or north. Sorry. Andy and Barney were both facing north. Andy made a quarter turn 90 degrees clockwise to face east, while Barney turned counterclockwise until he faced east. How many degrees did Barney turn? So again, both people are facing north. So here's Andy, here's Barney. So Andy made a quarter turn clockwise, which means to the right, to face east. So here's northeast. So he turned 90 degrees. Now Barney also is going to end up facing east, but he turned counterclockwise or to the left. So he turned this way until he faced east. Okay, so to figure that out, what we're going to do is we know that one full turn is equal to 360 degrees. Well, he only made three quarters of a turn because if he'd turned 360s, he'd be facing the same direction. Okay. So if we would think he would turn three quarters of the 360 degrees. And if I multiply that out, I end up with 270 degrees. Another way to think about it is that he makes three right-hand turns. Okay, he turns right once, twice, three times. So in this case, I could think, well, three times 90 degrees. And I'd still get 270 degrees was the total amount that he turned. Okay. All right, on this one, we have Elizabeth is running a lap around the park. She made six turns to the left and no turns to the right. And I want to know the average number of degrees of each turn. Well, if she turned six times around the park, that means she must have turned some kind of the shape that has six sides. Okay, so she, this, this park is in the shape of a hexagon. And that wasn't a very good hexagon, so let's try again. It's a little bit better. So this must be, the park is in this shape. So we're going to look at the different turns. So let's say she's starting going in this direction. So if she's going up, she's going to make one turn here. Okay, so here's turn one. Okay. Then she's going to turn again this way. So that's turn two. Turn again. Turn three. Four. Five. And then one last turn to get back where she started. Oh, so that's six. So she made six turns. And she made it all the way up around the park. So we know that she went a total of six, 360 degrees because she ended up back where she started. So since she made six turns, we're going to divide 30, 360 by the six turns. So three can't, six can't go into three. Six goes into 36 six times. That's 36, subtract it, bring down that X, that last zero, six goes into zero 60 times. So that means she turned an average of 60 degrees per turn. Now it's not exact, because we don't know like, what this park looks like, but on average she turned about 60 degrees. Okay, and that's all. Good luck on your homework.